All right, guys, our ChargeGo sponsors over in China, Electron, sent us this Vortex plug supercharger to CCS1 adapter, and we're gonna test it out here at this Tesla supercharger near Morongo Casino and Resort. We're gonna test it out on our Rivian R1T and see if it works. And we're gonna do the unboxing here for you too. So let's see. There you go. There you go. Here's the adapter. And there's some other stuff in here. Let's see. All right. Brochure here and user manual right here. We already know how to use it. So we're gonna show you guys how it works. All right guys, so we're in the Tesla app. We're, we're gonna select the charger we're using. We plugged it in right here. As you can see, we put in the adapter first, then the plug into the adapter. And now we're gonna press start charging. Unknown error occurred. But it is charging. So I don't know what this error is. As you can see, the green light of the Rivian is turning on and off, which means it's charging. So this is our first time using a Tesla supercharger to charge our Rivian R1T. I don't know why it says unknown error occurred, but it is charging. Let's see something in here. It did say unknown error occurred, but it also didn't show us any payment information or anything uh, or how we're gonna be paying for it, whether it's coming from our Tesla account or not. On here though, it does say how much is charging us at the right corner. If you can see the dollar amount right there, So we'll have to wait and see if it's gonna withdraw that amount from our Tesla account. We'll see. All right guys, so we started charging from 35% and we're gonna go up to maybe about 85% and we'll see how long it takes us. All right guys, we're just about done charging. We're about to unplug. Let's look at where we're at. If you look over there, so we're at about 82%. That's good enough for us. And you can see it charges $32. Today is a Sunday. It's around 1 p.m. And that's how much it charged us here near Morongo Casino. And yeah, we got 157 miles of range. And right now, since we're past 80%, the charging has slowed down. So let's unplug. So there's a little latch at the bottom. So we have to press that latch to be able to unplug the Tesla charger. I'm pressing that latch right now and you could hear a slight clicking, clicking sound. Then I could hold the Tesla button. Let's see. There it is. So we unplug this. And now we're gonna unplug this by clicking this button right here. There it is. Close up and let's close the Rivian charger. All set. So overall we were here for 31 minutes, about 32 minutes, and we got this much charge from the Tesla supercharger. And I just got an email from Rivian saying that it's charging me for the charging session. So I'm actually being charged through Rivian through the credit card I have on file with Rivian, not Tesla. So if you guys like this video and have any comments or questions about this process or any other topics about electric cars, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button, but make sure you subscribe and maybe we'll put out more videos that you like.